host another awesome Unity tutorial. I'm your host Bliskin X, and today we're going to be doing some awesome things. Basically, we're going to be focusing on our hitboxes as well as interacting with certain objects and bringing this character to life. We've got the animation set, we've got the melee attack, but we need to now interact with, you know, if it's not just enemies, but also crates in this case of the demonstration that I'm going to do today and destroying of certain objects. All right, so first things first, I've gone ahead and I've created an object, which you can see is a crate. I've set an animation to this crate, uh, very simple, and I've created an open and I've got a closed. So if I go ahead and play that, it's closed and open obviously would just be to open that crate. So when I hit this with the melee attack, I want this to open. That's effectively what we're going to be doing today. There are a number of ways of doing this. I do prefer using the Polygon Collider 2D with regards to the um, hitboxes. I know I've seen 2D colliders. I've seen a lot of other things that guys are doing. Please feel free to comment down below if you feel there's a better approach. I'm also always looking to learn and to improve where I can as well. So I'm going to be using obviously what I know best, so that's the Polygon Collider. So I'm going to go ahead and on my player itself, I'm going to go ahead and create an empty object. Um, so let's go do that quickly. Empty object, I'm going to call this object for the case of this demonstration, down hit box for now. All right, so that we know that this is the down hit box. And then on that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a component that I'm gonna use the Polygon Collider 2D. And then what I'm gonna need to do is obviously, effectively edit that Polygon Collider. So I'm gonna go over to the scene, here is our Polygon, and I'm gonna drag it down to where I think the, you could say animation's going to be with regards to my sword. So I'm gonna just click play. I'm gonna use the attack down, player attack down. Click play, and you can sort of see where it's at. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower. It's always a great way of, of knowing exactly where we want to interact with the player. So that's the first one there. Okay, if that, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and just stop that quickly. And then I'm going to set the uncheck it for enabled, and then I'm gonna set is triggered. Okay. So that is theoretically going to be our, our hitbox, essentially. Now, what we need to do is we need to do that with all the different, um, you could say, animations. So the left uh, animation, as well as the right, we need to go and do the same. So I'm gonna just fast forward a little bit, set the same, so we speed up and we make the video obviously um, more productive and don't waste too much time. I'm gonna go ahead and set these along quickly as well. Right, so now that we have all the polygons set for each, you could say, hitbox, for the down, left, right, and top, we need to go and set the, um, the act of the trigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing this in the animation as opposed to doing this in script, it's a lot easier. So what we need to do is click on the down hit, um, select the player attack down, and then let's go and click record, and record this action. So here we're gonna go firstly here, uh, which is this one. If I'm not mistaken, player attack. Let's go down hits. So yeah, we're gonna click record. So we're gonna be, as you can see, it added this uh, this property. And then we're gonna scroll over um, from here. I don't know why it doesn't allow me to scroll. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna scroll over to the last scene, which is probably this scene here. And then I'm gonna uncheck it. Okay, so that's the first one. And we need to obviously go and do this with all the others. So as you can see, yeah, it's, in, it's active. When it comes towards the end of the animation, it makes the hitbox no longer active. Okay, so let's go and do that with all the others. So we're gonna click on left. We're gonna use the left attack. We're then gonna click on record. We're gonna check this box over here. We're then gonna scroll through to the end scene and we're gonna uncheck. Okay, click on record there as well. So make sure we do that for the player attack right. Click on the right box. We're then gonna click record, and you get what I'm doing here, basically. We're gonna move across to the end, and we're going to check on check. All right, fantastic, and the last one, obviously, is the, the top one. So we're gonna go top, player attack top, click record, set it, and move across 
to the final scene and we can check. Fantastic. All right, so that's how we basically set our hitboxes. So now we know that all the hit colliders, you could say, hitboxes are set for the player. Now we're gonna go and do some interaction things. So the first we need to do is obviously go over to our crate that we've got here. And over onto my animator, I've got these states, the open animation and the closed. And what I wanna do is right click this and say, make a transition to the open, right? Cause that's a critical thing. And I wanna go and add a new perimeter. And that perimeter is gonna be a bull. And we're gonna say, let's make this bull open, I guess. Probably the simplest. And then we can check to see that uh, on this here, we can add a condition and we can say, if open equals true, go ahead and open it. All right, so if we go ahead and play that, Theoretically, uh, if I check this box, it should, um, on the animator, if I click it, it should go into this open. Right, so that's perfect. That's what we basically want. Now we need to go and create a new script. So basically we go down to our scripts over here, right click and create a new C sharp. And this one we're gonna call crates. Okay, because that's the first script we're gonna need to create. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click that. That'll open up our good old trusty, you could say, um, uh, Visual Studios, and then we need to do a number of things. So the first thing I want to do is set the animator. So let's go private, sorry, let's do private, and then we can go animator, animator, and then we're going to set that to anim. Okay. Then on the start point, we need to obviously get the component. So we're going to go anim, let's get component, and that will be the animator, obviously. So let's just close that off, so animator. And then we need to create a new function, which is going to be our public void, public void. And let's call this open, open, uh, open crates for now. So we know that this is the function, we will manage all that in case we need to add effects, etc. Right, open there and then we can go anim dot set because we're setting that bool that we created. Set bool. Close that off, and then we can go um, open because I made it lowercase open, open, and we can set that to true. Um, just close that off, obviously, because there's an error. Right, so that should be pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and file save that. So this is going to be our function open crates, and it's gonna play that animation that will set that bool to then run that animation to then open the box. Okay. So let's just space that correctly. File save, that should give us any errors. Let's go over there. Okay, no errors, fantastic. I'm going to go over to crates and I'm going to drag this component. You could say over onto the add components. Okay, so there is our crates uh, script, which has been added. Now we need to basically go and create another script for the hitboxes, the trigger, because remember this is all working on trigger essentially. So that's quite simple and we do do basically the same and we're basically going to go ahead and right click of the year and say create a new script, new C sharp and let's call this player hit for now, for the lack of a better word. And we're going to go ahead and open that and it's going to go ahead and open our C sharp and here we've got our player hit. So yeah, we need to do obviously a few things. Um, to start with and the first thing we need to do is obviously we're going to need to set a tag because we need to know what is open what we can open and what what isn't uh, you know supposed to be open because this trigger is going to play as the global trigger moving forward so let's go ahead and create a new function and let's call that private private void and we're going to use the on trigger um, I think the 2d collider which is probably going to be the better one yeah on trigger 2d other and yeah, we're gonna set a simple if. We're gonna go if, um, and that's going to be, I always like to close my tags up that way, it's a lot easier. Other dot compare, and we will set this shortly. Compare a tag that we know, and that tag we can create as, in this case, open crates, all right? And then we can go ahead and call the open crates function. So we can have them all these different ifs here, essentially based on the separate triggers. Um, based on separate tags, sorry, um, later down the line. So let's go ahead and say other dot get components because we need to now call that file, that, that, that separate file. Um, component, right, component, and sorry, component, and here we're gonna go crates, this, the name of the sheet that we created. You can see our crates in my case. So I'm gonna go crates, 
and um, close it off and then the function that we created and in this case that function was called open crates so I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that open crates and uh, close that off all right so that should be there it's just doubled it just watch out for that I'm going to go ahead and just tidy that up so we've got private void on trigger yes and then we're going to go if other compare the tag which is going to be the open crates tag go ahead and run this function right fantastic I'm going to go ahead and save that now I need to do a few things obviously that shouldn't give us any errors great now I'm going to go and select all the different head boxes because that's our script moving forward and I'm going to drag that over okay so that we know that they've all been selected and that's going to be our script now we need to do is just one last thing and that is basically on the crates yeah you'll see a tag on the inspector go ahead and create a new tag so go click add tag and yeah we're going to click add a new tag and I'm going to select open crates I click save now that open crates just to be clear going back here is the open crates tag that I've selected there all right that will then call this function which is the function calling this file to go ahead and set this boolean which is in fact this boolean in the animator over here just to be very clear that we said the perimeter open okay so that is what we're essentially doing on a swipe on a collision with that go ahead and set it now remember that the crate itself needs to have the box collider 2d as well so that we can't walk through this okay so just remember vital to have that set otherwise it's not going to work so let's go ahead and play it and let's see if our code works and that should then open our box so here's our player if he comes you see he can't go through it which is fantastic but if i swipe with the melee when i click down it should open this box and it didn't unfortunately open that box which is rather strange and i'll tell you why if i go back to the crates you'll notice that the tag wasn't selected very simple go ahead select the tag and now it should work perfectly i always get caught with that i don't know why so go ahead and if i come close to it now and i swipe and there you can see the crate opened and yeah we're going to probably have some gems pop out like we're doing in our construct series if you if you haven't checked that go and have a look at it it's on our playlist and yeah we're going to do the similar thing we're going to jump out some gems some hearts some coins and the player will amend that to his health or a dictionary essentially and healing himself moving forward all right guys that's it for our tutorial for today i hope you enjoyed it and if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and the little thumbs up we always appreciate the love and we'll catch you guys in the next one